Hey guys, these are my two zip zaps. More on the way. This used to be the battery inside of them, but as you can see, it's corroded and pretty much useless. So I decided to change it out for a small lithium polymer battery. The orange one is 70 milliamp hours, and this one is 100 milliamp hours. Slight modifications done to this one. As far as the chassis goes, cutting off some parts to make it fit. But they all drive pretty good. Here, let me show you. So basically, um, so I don't have a good camera or a stand, but oh jeez, <laughs> suicidal car. <clears throat> so you can buy these chargers. They're like two bucks, maybe, on eBay or so. And sorry, I'm trying. There you go. With that little connection, and then <clears throat> right here, I put a charge port connected to the lithium battery. I also took off the positive side of the charging pad. You still need the negative because there's a wire that's connected for when you change the channels on the remote so you can still use channels 1 through 6. But when you do that, the, the red light's going to blink and it's going to go amber as always because it's not sensing the battery in there. But you're not going to charge the battery with a remote anymore. You pretty much... <clears throat> Plug it in. Then that red light is going to come on. It depends too. Um, you might not get the same charger as me, but they all do the same thing pretty much or some version of their own thing. And then, um, sorry. Then you plug it in here in the USB port. The light goes off and it comes on when it's fully charged. 
Now, I'm going to take one of these apart to show you how the battery goes. Okay, you guys, so my zip zap is still charging. Um, I'm going to take it off for now. That's how it looks when it's done charging, except yeah, I took it out. Okay, so first you take this screw out. Sorry, it's hard to hold the phone and work on this at the same time. <clears throat> and then you take the one back here. So this one was modified in 2012, so it might be a little dirty in here, but let's see if you can see it. I took the tape off of the lithium polymer battery so you can solder the connector to the battery. When you take out the positive pad on the bottom, this orange wire is connected to it so all you do is connect sorry let me focus here all you do is connect the positive side of the of the charging port to the positive side of the battery and also the orange wire go soldered together then you can't really see it but the black wire goes to the negative side of the battery and then you have another wire and the negative side of the car is pretty much the whole port on the bottom. However, you can't really see it, but I soldered it right there, right by the by the charge port. So it's just those two wires. And then the port, just a little drop of super glue, will secure it in place. And it hasn't come off yet. So the only thing you might you will need to modify on this one is the top the top piece that holds the the board in you just need to cut it a little bit as you can see here so that when you put it on it fits with the charge port but that's pretty much it the motor on this car they used to be they used to be packs with purple motor being the fastest um, orange second fastest, yellow third, red was what usually came with these cars. Um, I decided I had this little drone. It had a bad accident, so two of the motors went bad, and the other two motors are in these zip zaps. Um, Pretty much the same as this hexagon quadcopter. I have one of those green ones in there right now. Can't really focus. I have one of those motors in there right now. And you just solder them to I don't really want to open it but you solder one to the pad in the back right here and then the other one um, that pad in the middle but yeah um, when you do a sound comparison it sounds like those motors spin like twice as fast or even more and it makes these cars really fast this one has the the red gearing so it's really fast I can't even give it full throttle on the floor because it just spins out
as you saw earlier. So yeah, um, that's my zip zaps.